hello there, my Gemini Collective Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for uh, this full moon to new moon next, which we're looking at. I'm actually doing this on 11-11, November 11th, getting the last three done. I've had a head cold. I'm recuperating very quickly. I heal very rapidly. If you're new to my channel, I, uh, my name is Mark Angelo Lyons, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, professional witch, professional, intuitive, and really glad to be doing this for you today. Just went and saw Downton Abbey the movie last night. Head colds and all. It was lovely. Oh, so lovely. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. Took myself, uh, like everybody who was supposed to go with me, canceled. I was like, okay, see ya. Virgo. Uh, ruled by uh, Gemini. <laughs> Sorry, ruled by Mercury, which also is uh, a Gemini. So we have that in common, my gems. So uh, if you are new to my channel, please do like and subscribe. I'm making my way to 1,000 subscribers bit by bit. My numbers are growing up pretty steadily so I can do super live chat and we'll see what's going on after that. Um, I am a soul number three, a life path number three, whatever you want to call it, add up the numbers of my uh, birth date. I'm a three, so I'm a communicator. You get me on that, right? You feel that. You're the communicators of, uh, of the Zodiac, as it were. And to my subscribers, thank you so much for following along. Uh, really enjoying this process. So um, my energy is, a, I won't say that it's off, but like, I had a good morning, like, I had my coffee, I did my prayers, I <coughs> made this work for you all, uh, but then as soon as I started blessing the decks for Gemini, things got, like, really, really spacey and airy very quickly, which I understand for a Gemini collective, but it's gonna be really important in this reading that we breathe, right, like me, so I've been doing it for all the readings uh, since the Samhain reads, because that was such a clear directive from my own higher self, breathe. It uh, really helps to breathe, right? So, uh, again, if you are new to the channel, what do I need read is a little bit different. Uh, this is exposition for my people who've been following along. A long <laughs> Go ahead, fast forward. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what do I need read is about asking the divine, what do you need, right? Instead of asking, what is he thinking? What is she feeling? What should I do about this? How's this relationship? Where's the money? Where's the beef? All that stuff. This is about going directly to the divine through divination systems with uh, the grace of humility, uh, saying that I know that I don't know what I need. I think I do. People tell me what I need, but you know, you tell me what do I need uh, today, this moment, in this situation, in this relationship, what have you. So we're doing this for um, what do you need uh, for this full moon to new moon next. Now I do have my info written down here, right? So it actually, full moon is in Taurus tomorrow, the 12th. Of course, you're not watching this. this uh, you're probably watching this after that, which is a great time to watch it. Uh, and then it'll be new moon in Sagittarius on the 26th. So uh, this is sort of a, a general, well, it is a general reading. You know, I, I hear YouTubers, YouTube readers saying it over. This is a general reading. You know, not everything's going to click for everybody. I mean, I really do pray before I, I, I do these readings that these be truly helpful for whoever is watching them. So if you clicked on it, it's not by accident. But if only 25% of the information resonates, go with it, right? Take the puzzle pieces, then check out your other signs. That's why I always do at a minimum sun, moon, rising signs, uh, and then I will add, like, you know, Venus for the soulmate reads, which I'm doing next. I'll start on that tomorrow, just doing these last three today, going food shopping, taking a break, <laughs> and then starting fresh tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, do check out your sun, moon, rising signs. Uh, all the decks that I read are in the description box below, along with a lot of my own, like, my two ebooks. There's my uh, Vimeo on demand uh, workshops and classes that are on there. So go check it out. I work hard. I'm a hard working Virgo, Pisces moon, and Leo rising. So I can draw directly from source with that Pisces moon, put it into an understandable, translatable language, Virgo sun, and Leo rising. Make it fun. Yes, which? Oh, where's my drag fan? Which one are you? Oh, that's okay. I'm feeling a little hot mess today. How about you? <laughs> All right, so let's have fun with this. The energy is a little, a little, a little carbonated. <laughs> la, 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 la. So let's uh, dive in. Please pardon the coughing if it happens. Here we go. Breathe. Call in your guides. Call in your higher powers, your higher self. And here we go. 
my collective pantheon of angels, goddesses, gods, masters, and the higher selves of all involved. Please, one card in clarity using the Caroline Mace Archetype deck. What does this Gemini Collective Sun Moon Rising sign need for this full moon to new moon next in terms of the dominant archetype within themselves, within someone else, within a situation that they need to alchemize from lead to gold, either again within themselves, oh, no, uh, either within themselves or within a situation, or another person could have this archetype, so please, for my Geminis, one card in clarity. <laughs> this one has been coming up left, right, and center, the prostitute archetype. Now, it's not about being a hooker, I mean, unless you are, blessed be the sex workers. Blessed be the sex workers, really, the world's oldest profession. But that's rarely about this. This is about negotiating your faith in yourself for physical comfort, right? Instead of, like, walking the path, you're like, eh, I don't want to. This is easier. Yeah, it's easier, but it might be toxic. It's not going to be easier for much longer. So with these uh, lovely, lovely archetype cards, all right, everybody has the prostitute archetype. It's part of the survival family of archetypes. Look at her wiggle. Uh, <laughs> can't be jelly. It must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. Uh, everybody has the child, the victim, the saboteur, and the prostitute because those are the ones in the survival family. That's how we learn how to survive. And you may very well be dealing with survival issues this, uh, this full moon to new moon next, but remember, this might not be you. This might be someone else that you are, that, that you need to deal with. This is what do I need? Or a situation, right, of prostitution. All right, so I'll give you an example. Someone who stays in a toxic marriage because of the house, right? Instead of getting out of the toxic situation. It's how we negotiate the power of our spirit for comfort. You know, it's fed, the, it, it, all, of, all of the uh, survival archetypes are guardians. The child is the guardian of safety and innocence. If that makes sense. The victim is the guardian of self-esteem and boundaries. M makes sense. The saboteur is the guardian of empowerment and disempowerment, how we sabotage ourselves, others, and let others sabotage us. And uh, the prostitute, then, is the guardian of faith, <laughs> right? Faith. Faith in ourselves. Faith in the divine. Faith in the past. And we need that to survive. Faith that the sun is going to rise every morning, although technically the sun doesn't rise. We rotate, right? Perception is not always truth. Uh, so I'm going to read the shadow attribute at the bottom of the card. That is the lead, using the language of alchemy. Uh, and then I will read the light attribute, the gold. That's what we're shooting for. So, the shadow attribute. Places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. It's exactly that. It's like, well, this is a really horrible, toxic situation, and um, but the money's good or I don't know how to do this, so let me not, right? It's, it's that negotiation. It's like this internal negotiation, really, between your ego and your spirit, because your spirit will say very clearly, uh, it's time. It is time. You are prostituting yourself. We are prostituting ourselves here. Have faith that this entire quantum hologram of planet Earth, life on planet Earth, everything is here to help us heal, grow, learn, evolve, but on a soul level, the personality and the ego may very well hate it, and that's fine. Love that ego, love that child that doesn't want to look, oh, but I'm scared, I don't want to, I don't want to, what if they hate me? I, I get it. Love that child. Have faith in the process, right? Now here's the gold. Light attribute accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. In other words, look, your spirit is your energy. It's your chi, it's your prana, it's your life force. Call it what you will, right? Every breath you inhale, life force, your sp spirit, inspiration, respiration, get the, the connection there. And every time you exhale, you're letting something go. So when you're negotiating the power of your spirit, it's when your soul is saying, let's get the fuck up out of here. This is toxic. This is done. Stick a fork in it. This is toast. Time to move on. Time to move on. It's like your higher self is standing in the new situation, calling you forward. And it's up to you to love what rises within yourself, that fear, alchemize that lead to gold, that fear of whatever it is that's making you negotiate 
your spirit, right? Uh, g- compromising your soul, compromising your honor, compromising your health when you know something is toxic and you stay. When all the writing on the wall is saying, get the fuck up out of Dodge, right? You're prostituting yourself and everybody does it, right? A, a job where you're being abused, uh, but you know, my pension. Well, the gods are calling you forward to something higher and better and for the well-being of all, right? Are you in this just for yourself or are you in this for the well-being of all? Not everybody's in it for the well-being of all. Obviously, watch the news. But if you're watching videos like this, there's a spirit, a soul inside of you that's looking for guidance and grace to move forward to be the best that you can be. And I trust me, <coughs> though this hasn't completely fulfilled for me, where it's all a journey, we're going to get everything our hearts desires. Our dreams are going to come true, but not when we want to, not usually how we want to. But the more that we can be truthful, right, true to ourselves, have faith in the plan, have faith in ourselves, which is not done all at once. I am not a blind faither. No, 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 no. I am a Virgo. I, I go through my process. A Virgo is ruled by the intestines, so we filter out everything. We're like a filter. Feel it out, feel it out, feel it out. So a really, really good card. Uh, but if you are dealing with survival issues, what are survival issues? Food, clothing, shelter, money, right? <laughs> Water, things like that. Just know that the, the beauty of this card is that spirits got you. Palm of their hand. Let's ask the angels. Uh, healing with the angels, uh, Doreen Virtue. Oracle. <laughs> Healing with the Angels Oracle during virtue. <coughs> Again, please pardon the cough. My angels. <sighs> please, one card in clarity for this Gemini Collective Sun Moon Rising sign for this full moon to new moon next. We've got the prostitute archetype on the table from the collective pantheons of angels, goddesses, gods, masters, and the higher souls of all involved. So, what's your piece in this, my angels? Oh. Well, serenity, which is lovely. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't pick up your bed and walk, right? Uh, the card of serenity, you know, so many people know the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. This shit's toxic. Uh, <laughs> the courage to change the things that I can. I can get the fuck up out of here, right? I, I have to have faith. And the wisdom to know the difference. Now, the way I look at that is uh, that there's the outer world and the inner world. Like, so... God, God, here's my version. God, God is all that is. Grant me the serenity to accept this crazy shit going on. And what acceptance means is like, it's just saying, hey, it's okay that this is going on. It's helping me on some level. Everything is happening for us, not to us, right? Everything is here to help us. Whatever's going on in the inner or the outer, right? But the courage to change the things I can, the word cur is French, the heart, right? The heart, le cur, oh, j'ai mal le cur, doctor. It means I gotta throw up, doctor. I know it's not a great reference, but French, right? Romance languages. So it's like, okay, grant me the serenity to accept, to, to say, it's okay, it's okay, little one inside of me that we're freaking out. It's okay, somehow this is all working out for us. We don't have to like it. We don't have to be Pollyanna about it at all. Uh, we can be two minds of it, <laughs> Gemini. Uh, but to really, really, I have a feeling there's a lot of cross watchers on this one. I <laughs> just have a feeling. So this might be you as well. Like walk the fuck away if this is toxic. Uh, but, but the serenity to the courage to change the things I can let me do the inner work, right? So whatever's going on in the, in the outer, it's a little tricky. Uh, and what's ever rising within you, right? Grant me the courage to love, to embrace, not love, oh, this pain and suffering is wonderful, this toxicity is great. I mean, on a higher fifth dimensional level, it is great because it's helping you grow. <coughs> you go through a detox, he said while coughing, um, and the wisdom to know the difference. So there's massive, massive, massive things that you can do about this situation but serenity is necessary. A serenity, work that prayer, right? Everybody's got attachments. Everybody's got addictions. I know people who are so addicted to being right that when they find out they're wrong, they go through withdrawal, right? They stop eating. They can't sleep, right? It's, it, it, it's tricky. Now, I am actually in the process of quitting smoking. This might be the last one because I got a really clear download and it wasn't like um, a fearful one, like, oh, you're going to get lung cancer. I smoke American Spirit Yellows. I have for... A really long time they don't have all those chemicals in it and stuff and yes that can be a prostitution rationalization but I'm only using it for prayer 
and, uh, and, and, and it's slowly slipping away as I get that the emotions I'm trying to repress from that I need to embrace, right? That's the courage to change the things I can. Cool, cool. You with me? Do comment in the box below. I love replying to comments when I have time to. Let's ask the goddesses what they think. Now, usually I use the goddess deck and the god deck. The god deck is the mythic tarot. <laughs> Just seeing what that was top of the deck, uh, for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Here, this is just a perspective of what the goddesses and the gods see for you. So let's have a look, see, Dixie. My goddesses, please, one card in clarity for this Gemini Collective Sun, Moon, Rising sign. What do they need for this full moon to new moon next? Considering we've got the Prostitute Archetype and Serenity. Oh, well, uh, hmm, three cups. Yes, happiness and, and you know a lot of readers say this and I'm like eh, because the car the, in the daughters of the moon it's bonding this is about emotional bonds but this does feel like a third party situation it feels like some of these bonds are toxic some of these bonds aren't right that that oh my god that the emotionality the emotions are not being dealt with in a healthy way Hence the Serenity card. There's something going on here, the goddesses are saying, where your intuition may be clouded because you are feeling so much that, that is being triggered by this situation. We'll see what happens. Uh, <coughs> what do you need to cough up, right? Oh, look, they're using my body as a form of divination. What do you need to cough up and spit out? What What is the truth that you are like, no, let's not look at that. Let's not look at that. If I look at that, I will die. Well, you might, but it's going to be ego death. It's going to be death to this, uh, the, the self that you believe you are so that the self that you truly are, the I am, that I am, right? Capital letter I am in the lowercase letter I am, right? The soul, the universe, you are the universe in a body. Everybody is. Everybody is divine. So if there are real toxic situations going on in your life, remember, this is waning moon. Uh, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. Now is the time to sever this shit, uh, to walk away. And, and really, if you're walking away from somebody toxic, oh, this is lovely, my goddesses. Thank you. If you are walking away from a toxic situation, someone who is abusive, neglectful, codependent, right, and you know it, this is... A loving thing to do because you're one less person that they get to abuse loving for yourself but also loving for them so that you are one less person that they have to keep abusing right which they're only they're not dealing with their own pain then so just keep that in mind I mean this is usually such a good positive card when it hits the table but with that prostitute archetype and serenity there's something addictive going on here um, I've been talking a lot about narcissism because it's, well, I mean, watch the news. Uh, uh, narcissism is a lack of empathy. It's a lack of emotional bonding. It's, it's people who are in so much pain, self-loathing, uh, just a, a fucking nightmare on the inside that they have to repress all of that and wear this mask. Now, there's overt, covert. Uh, there's a it's like this whole shadow pantheon right i only knew about overt right well there is also um what's called uh, the passive narcissists which are the empaths which is that we feel what someone else is feeling instantly i am an empath i have done this i'm much better at it now uh, and, and we immediately assume that their emotional state is their opinion of us. So if they're in a great mood, great, they love us. But if they're in a bad mood, we are immediately take it in and go, oh, it's an automatic, oh, it's a learned behavior, oh, they don't like me. And so we start people-pleasing, helping them feel better so that we will feel better about how they feel about us. That's manipulative as fuck. It's very narcissistic, right? Covert narcissism, though, who sneaky as fuck. I had a bunch of those in my life I had to cut out of my life. So there are some emotional bonds here, uh, these three of cups, because ordinarily this is like friendship, make new friends and keep the old, one is silver, one is gold, right? I'm feeling some are lead and some are gold, and you got to do the alchemy in yourself uh, to really heal what what your lack of faith is here. You are prostituting yourself, or you're dealing with someone who is, right? Let's ask the gods about this. This should just get deeper and deeper. Madonna. 
Uh, I can't stop falling in love. I go deeper and deeper. The more that I go, oh, breathe. My gods, please, one card in clarity for this Gemini collective sun, moon, rising sign for this full moon to new moon next, please. We've got the prostitute archetype, the serenity card, and the three of cups bonding. What's going on here? <laughs> Four of swords, meditation, contemplation. Stand still. Good. <laughs> for an air sign, that's brilliant. I would cut off communication from people right now. Go within. The courage to change the things you can, your point of view, your attitude, go into prayer, go into meditation. Call upon the gods, the masters, the angels, whatever your higher pantheons are, your own higher self, which has already watched this movie, already played this role. You know, I, I don't want to say I'm a fan of Matt Kahn, brilliant spiritual teacher, because fan is short for fanatic, and I'm not a fanatic about shit except my own path, right? Sounds narcissistic, but it says, I bet as I know, I heal, all heal, right? The, the quantum model, the fifth dimensional unity consciousness. Um, but he posited something in one of his videos. I can't remember which one it was, but it was so genius. He said that he got this insight about what's, instead of reincarnation, meta-incarnation, where our souls play the same lifetimes over and over and over again to make different choices. It's like, it's like me in Practical Magic. I've watched that movie more times. I love that movie. My blood, your blood, our blood. <laughs> the best part. Spoiler, if you haven't seen that movie yet, right? I fucking love that movie. It makes me cry, that, that. Join hands. And yes, I know the chant by heart, but I'm not doing it on camera. Uh, this is a huge, 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 huge opportunity for you to call in spirit, for you to go with your guides, your masters, what have you, because you've played this life over and over and over again, so, and we haven't gotten to enjoy it, right? It's like, this is the time of the great spiritual awakening, anchoring the fifth dimensional. You, if, you know, fifth dimensional, I know, it sounds tinfoil hat, woo, land, I wish we weren't using that language, but I'm a communicator. I've got to use the languages available, right, to communicate what spirit's showing me. I am a channel of spirit. Oh, sorry, it's just how I was born. Um... But this is this time we're doing it so that we get to enjoy ourselves. What are you doing over there, Melchior? What is the fuck? Cats. What are you doing? Oh, that's your scritchy thing? All right, I got him a scritchy thing. That's okay. As long as they're not scratching up my couch. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is the lifetime where we get to enjoy the process, to wake up a little bit earlier, to be more loving to ourselves, and to nail the fucking dismount so we don't have to keep coming back and playing this life. I mean, not even, like, pass it. This life, meta-incarnation. Look it up. Matt Con is brilliant. He really, really is. Love his work. Love him. Never met him. No kickbacks here. He's not sponsoring me. It's all good. Hey, house author. But started his career. Uh, I'm sure he started his career before he did YouTube. But go to his channel, uh, All for Love with Matt Kahn. He's been doing this shit forever, it seems like. And he's younger than I am. A little shocking. But I have long hair. He doesn't. <laughs> Kidding, Matt. If you're watching. I doubt you are. Let's ask the masters what's going on here, please. The ascended masters, my masters, one card in clarity. Breathe. <sighs> for this Gemini collective sun, moon, rising sign, what do they need for this full moon to new moon next? Considering we got the prostitute, serenity, three of cups bonding that feels really fucking off, a toxic bond, uh, and the four of swords, contemplation, meditation going within. What say you? intimacy, that there's an intimacy issue going on here. Now, intimacy is a tricky thing because if someone is um, toxic, they can't do intimacy. If somebody is hiding something, if they are deceiving themselves somewhere, someone else in a toxic bond, intimacy is impossible because intimacy is what? Vulnerability. Now, Intimacy is also not just about romantic sexual relationships. There are plenty of times when we are dealing with toxic people in our lives that we can't get away from because they're family, right? <laughs> Living with them, perhaps you're married to them. Uh, you know, work situations, not going to quit the job, but the prostitute archetype really, it, it, it's saying that I want real intimacy and that's probably what's going on in this deeper contemplation, time of mental rest, right? Being aware, being the silent witness, loving what rises within you, that you want this deeper emotional intimacy to go beyond a three. And in order to do that, 
uh, there's some healing that needs to be done here. You know, if this was a waxing moon, if this was new moon to full moon next, this would be a very different reading. Uh, but the vibes on this, it's like, this is this has been stale for a long time. And even getting that with this Four of Wands, it's just like, oh, you're just waiting on the will of heaven. Let the will of heaven move me. And, and that is wise to an extent. But really make sure you're doing that inner work, that you are going within, right? That you are focused on the interior world, loving what rises, healing what needs to be healed within you, and don't try and do it alone. Call in the angels, the gods, the masters, a therapist, a counselor, a friend who can keep things confidential. Always helpful. All right? Let's ask the higher selves of all involved. This will be our last card down. <coughs> Breathe. Oh, the higher, oh, wow, the higher selves of all involved. I feel you. Please, one card in clarity for this Gemini collective. Sun, moon, rising sign for this full moon to new moon next. What do they need? Because we've got the prostitute archetype here, negotiating the power of spirit for comfort rather than going in faith. The serenity from the angels Accepting what cannot be changed, changing what can be changed, and learning the difference through experience. Uh, this three of cups, this this emotional bond here, this perhaps even contract, but there feels like there's a third party, another person, another situation, money, something that's making this toxic. Uh, the four of swords from the gods saying go within, not just rest, but contemplate and focus on what's going on in your internal world. Okay, this is what they're saying. Like, if you're involved with a narcissist and you know they're a narcissist, why are you still there? Right? If they're abusive, if they're neglectful. Abuse and neg uh, neglect is still abuse, right? If there's just something off here, why are you still staying there? You've got to look at why am I prostituting myself? Because the intimacy, there's something intimate going on here that either you're not sharing or, it, and it's really what you want. You want that vulnerability to heal, to deal, to, to experience the truth of who you are and enjoy your life. Can't do that without intimacy. So I feel you higher selves, please. One card in clarity, a whisper of love, whisper, whispers of love, oracle, please. One final card here, a card of clarity. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Now, that's an odd card, but it's also about being kind to yourself. Now, in my book, Words of Grace, uh, I, I, I dive into, I think, 16, 19, I forget the number of different graces that are in there. Uh, graces are divine substances, right? Long story, go read the book. It's in the links below. But the grace of kindness is a root chakra grace. It's about saying we are all of one kind, right? We are all spirit. We are all one, fifth dimensional unity consciousness in physical body. So an act of kindness, right? Are you acting in like kind? In other words, if you're getting toxic, are you giving toxic? Are you abusing the abuser, right? Are you neglecting the neglector? Uh, are you codepending with the codepender? Or is there an act of kindness here that a simple act of kindness to yourself to them right to to and if you are the 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 toxic one in here an apology a simple act of kindness might not be so simple right or if someone is really being uh, toxic to you and really your soul is saying look you can't change this but you can change this do it simple act of kindness. You does not have to be burn the whole house down at once, right? Little by little, simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. And here's another download. Is your conduct in alignment with your highest virtue, right? Like, are you all love and light, love and light, love and light? And, and But with this particular situation, you immediately go into low self-esteem, right? Low self-estimation. Are you coming from pain? Are you not dealing with your pain? It is what you say and what you do in alignment with your highest virtue, your faith, the truth of who you are, all right? Simple acts of kindness. 
And you can get high off of it. I've absolutely gotten high off of it. I am always kind to people in public. Doesn't matter if they're in a grumpy mood. I mean, I don't go, hey, cheer up, that clown. No, I'm like, you have a good day. Looks like you're having a rough one. Blessed be. Right? May you be blessed. Sometimes I just do it silently. A silent thing. A silent blessing. So let's put this all together. You've got the prostitute archetype here. And just to refresh your memory, uh, placing material considerations and security above self-empowerment. That's totally it. Uh, light attribute accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit, your truth, your honor, your virtue, right? But with serenity, there are certain things that you can change here and certain things that you can't. So change the things you can in this, gotta say, toxic bond, right? Toxic emotional situation feels very third party. Remember, third party isn't always another human being, right? It can be your third party with a mental illness, with a personality disorder, with something that just does not feel right in here. And it's absolutely affecting your ability to have intimacy. So to go in and be intimate with the self, be intimate with the pain, because this, this whoever, if you're not the toxic one here, and you know what, I find people who are watching these videos tend to be the ones who want to heal, right? Particularly on my channel, right? This is not like, oh, it's all gonna work out. Well, it is all gonna work out. But you have to take the journey. You can't prostitute yourself along the journey. You might even get what you want, but you won't be able to hold it, right? Because you won't have your, your spirit as with you as necessary. Um, so then to show simple acts of kindness to yourself, bit by bit, step by step. This need not be done in a hurricane. It can be done. <sighs> breath by breath. Breath by breath by breath. Wow, I don't know what I'm going to call this one in the title, right? <laughs> a prostitute finds serenity in an emotion. I don't know. Simple acts of kindness will probably be in there as well. Well, uh, my Gemini collective, sun, moon, rising signs, may you be blessed with all that you need. This full moon to new moon next to heal, to grow, to learn, to bring your virtue forward, your highest truth forward into alignment and not what you think, right? Your thoughts come and go. We think our thoughts are our thoughts, they're not. They're radio waves, right? Passing through our receiver. Think thoughts going on, we are not our thoughts. Really, go go check out some Eckhart Tolle, Power of Now. His other books are great, but I always suggest people start with that one. That we're not our thoughts, but we can be so identified with a thought pattern, four of swords, uh, that that's who we are, so we can't release it, because if we release that, who will we be? Well, your spirit, <laughs> your spirit. And keep in mind that meta incarnation, everything that's gonna happen is gonna happen in the quantum. Everything that's gonna happen, all, right, all the outcomes are already predetermined, right? So what do you got to lose? Play the game, be brave. You gotta be bad, you gotta be bold, you gotta be wiser. <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be hard. You gotta be tough. You gotta be stronger. You gotta be cool. You gotta be calm. You gotta stay together. But all I know, all I know is love will save the day. So return to love, my Gemini friends. <laughs> Almost said motherfucker, father fucker. Ah, that's my sense of humor there. Thank you so very much for your time. Please like and subscribe. I hope this was truly helpful. I love you all. Oh, we're all in this together. So do reach out if you need a reading for clarity. My info's in the box below as well. Thank you so much for your time. But for now, hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.